Good day. Mysterious vending machine. Let's get to it. First thing we're going to do is let's go ahead and download our picture of the vending machine. Okay, so click on that. It's going to go to your downloads folder. From there, Macintosh HD. Go to your house. Go to downloads. Okay, from there, I'm going to grab our vending machine.jpg. Let's put that in our folders, in our folder. Okay, let's open it up in GIMP. And let's look at it. All right, so here we've got a standard vending machine. What we're going to do is we're going to be filling this up. It's going to be like the craziest vending machine ever. It could have PlayStations. And let's look at what's there already. So, got our situation here. Good stuff. Now, this is not going to be too, too hard, but what we're going to do is we're first going to clear out, um, you know, a, a complete thing. What's nice is, is that this is all black here. Okay, so I'm going to find uh, something like here uh, that I'm going to get rid of. Let's look here. Let's do these uh, Reese's. Yeah, let's do the Reese's, okay? So I'm just going to go, I'm going to use actually my rectangle select. And I'm going to just select this whole darn thing, okay? I'm gonna expand that a little bit. Good. And what I'm going to do is then I'm going to go ahead and use my bucket, paint bucket. Okay? And I'm going to make sure it, I double clicked on the paint bucket, okay? And I'm going to go out here where it says fill hole selection. It's gone. Oh my god. Awesome. So there we go. So I'm going to then do select none. So that's gone. Great. Uh, what we're going to do now is I'm going to try to find something on Google Image Search that I want to use uh, for my, like I'm going to put a thing. So let's try to think of something here. I'm actually going to do something. I'll put a yellow submarine DVD. Now what you could put in here, you can put like, you could put a puppy <laughs> in this. You could put a car. Anything you'd like, okay? I, I, I'd go for funny. Uh, let's look here. Medium. Yellow Submarine DVD. So let's say Google Image Search. And go. Come on, Enred. You can do it. So while we're taking this time, while it's, we're trying to get our, our thing here, yeah, find some cool things you'd like to put in. I mean, be humorous, okay? Enjoy yourself. Let's try this again. Okay. Let me try Firefox. <laughs> There we go. Okay. That's better. So, let's see here. There. Good. So, I'm going to go ahead, click on it, except that's not coming up. Uh, there we go. Let's see if we got it. Then click on full size image. Good stuff. Then do a control click. And then set it to uh, save image to download. So uh, I've got it here on Safari. Here we go. There we go. And then save image to downloads. So from there, what we're going to do is we're going to put this into our thing. So we're back here at our vending machine. And I'm going to zoom out here a second. And I accidentally just, there we go, okay, nice. All right, so what we're going to do then is we're going to open uh, this as a new layer. So we're going to go to File, Open as Layers. We're going to go to our Downloads folder, okay? So J. Fleming, it's going to be different for you, probably. Downloads, and then let's see here. I think it was this, uh, this file. 
Okay, so you open that up. So obviously that's too big. So let's scale this down. Okay, so let's use our scale tool. Let's make sure I'm on the correct layer. Yes, I am. All right, so now I'm going to scale that down. Okay, so that I did. Remember the scale tool is just right there. I'm going to now use my move tool. Let's move it generally in the right. That's, you know what? Let's zoom in a little bit. That looks pretty good. I, I, I like that. Okay, so there we go. It's placed now. Now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, take one of these sort of bars and we're going to put it over the DVD. So let's use our lasso tool here. And let's go ahead, double click on your lasso tool, select feather edges, set this down to like one, or around one, okay? And now let's go ahead, let's find one. I'm going to go here with the Almond Joy. Let's zoom in. And I'm going to select this bar. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so that's selected now. What we're going to do is we're going to do a edit, copy, okay? Because that we just selected that bar. And we're going to post that or paste that over our DVD that we made, okay? So let's check that out. Actually, um, I made a mistake there. So we want to make sure that we have our layers menu open. If you don't have this sort of bar here, just double click on any tool, and then we're going to select our layers menu. Okay, so that's our layers menu. If you don't have a layers menu, click on this little triangle, add tab, layers. Okay, so we're going to make sure that we have our, our background selected. Okay, now we do edit, copy, and let's do edit, paste as, new layer. From there, let's use our move tool. And notice it's going behind our uh, DVD. That's okay. That's supposed to happen. Let's go back to our layers menu. And what we have to do is we have to take this picture of the uh, of the bar and put that above the picture of our DVD. Okay. So let's go ahead then, and we're going to click on this button here. We're going to make sure that um, our bar is the layer that's selected. Click on this button here. Now it's in front. Good. Let's make sure that we're happy with its placement. Yeah, good, good, good. And at this point, you could continue to just add layers and things like that. I think that would get very confusing. Okay. So after you've placed an object and you've put a bar over it, go ahead and uh, you can merge it down. Now one thing I would do before you did that, I would duplicate the layer, uh, your bar, okay? This, see this picture of this thing? I would do it, I would duplicate it first. So let's do that. Make sure you've got your layers menu open and then just click on this button here, duplicate. Okay, so now I've got two of the bars. Now from there, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get rid of the, I'm going to merge the, the DVD layer as well as the bar layer down so that things don't get confusing. So let's go ahead and do a control click or right click and go ahead here where it says merge down then do merge down. So after you place, okay, so I've got this extra bar that's kind of chilling over here. After you finish placing, you know, the object you want to put into your vending machine and the bar that goes over it, 
merge it down. Okay, And now I've got a bar that's ready to go. So I can go ahead and whenever I want to uh, put something new into my vending machine, I can do so. So I expect you to do, replace the majority of items in this, uh, in this vending machine. Best of luck. Good stuff. And then, of course, make sure to save a high-quality version and a low-quality version.